Passing the handle is something that will eventually be a natural movement if you repeat it enough times while riding. The tool and drills that I'm about to go over in this video will help you speed up the process by practicing off the water so you can build strength and proper form while at the same time engraving the movements needed to pass the handle. The tool is a simple weighted handle that you can swing around your waist. By swinging a weighted handle around your waist, you will feel a pull outward as the centrifugal force increases. The faster you swing, the harder the pull gets, and you'll have to work harder to keep the handle close to your body. Before we go into the drills, let's go over quickly how to build a handle that you can swing. A spare old handle is ideal, but if you don't have one, you can just tie some rope to a piece of pipe or just cut down a broomstick to get the same effect. You will also need an empty detergent bottle and some bungee cord if you want your handle to stretch. A normal wakeboard handle is usually 5 feet in length and you can attach any weight to the end just by looping the end of the handle around it. If you want the handle to stretch to increase the level of difficulty, take a short piece of bungee cord and tie two knots at either end so you can attach one end to the weight and one to the handle. For the bungee handle, you will need a handle with just a short loop at the end and straight line handles work really well for this because you can buy them already short or you can remove the wrap portion which leaves you with just the triangle. Next find an empty but durable jug to fill with either water or sand. An empty detergent bottle is able to withstand the heavy beating it will take from the occasional missed pass. Fill the bottle, cap it off, and then attach the bungee to the jug's handle and then to the wakeboard's handle to complete the rig. The easiest way to start swinging the handle is to start with one hand and swing it over your head and then bring it down as you build enough speed to keep the jug off the ground. Get a wide stance so you are stable and try to pass the handle around your waistline with both palms down while in front of your waist and both palms up while behind you. Make sure you keep the handle close to your body the entire time while you increase your speed. You should feel a heavy strain in your arms which represents the boat's pull. Go for as long as you can clockwise and then switch to counterclockwise to work both frontside and backside handle passes. With a bungee handle, you will notice stretch as your speed increases and the bungee extends. The passes slow down a bit, but the force on your arms should increase as the bungee stretches outward. To increase the level even more, Try to slowly spin your body with small shuffle steps in the opposite direction you are spinning the handle. You should notice that the speed required to pass the handle almost doubles. This is where you really get a workout and again, work both directions. On the water, you should notice the heightened ability to hold your arms in better position and more strength when pulling and passing during your 360s, simple 180s, or even more technical spins down the road. 